Hey everyone, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. It's the end of the day. We're pretty tuckered. As you can see, we put in another hard day's work. And today, we finish out the steps on our back deck. We can finally go up and down. Let's go. The first step in this process is to dig in the dirt. Again, we marked out the rough location of our concrete stair footer pad. I don't know what it's called. That's what we're going to call it. Subject to change throughout this video. We're going to go ahead and dig us out our rectangle. Try and make it pretty level with the ground, what we dig out. And prepare the hole in the ground for our wooden form to get sit down, squared up, and, you know, prepare to pour concrete and all the stuff that's entailed with that. Looks good. Nice. So our steps are going to be five foot wide, but we want to give ourselves some wiggle room in case we're not square or our trench is not perfect. So I'm going to cut these fence boards to five and a half feet. I got my two boards lined up on the ends there. I'm going to cut them both at the same time. So I'm going to line my blade right here. I'm using my speed square as a straight edge. To hold these frame boards together, I'm just going to be using our 18 gauge brad nailer. It does not need to be strong. If you want to use screws, go for it. This is a small concrete pour. We're going to add stakes to help support the walls, not have any blowouts. The reason I like brad nails is they're easy to pry apart once you're done and you're not going to have a big issue or waste hardware. Just my personal preference, mostly because we have the brad nailer. So, you know, use what you have. No sooner will you say something and life will make you a liar. These deck boards, fence boards rather, are really bent, so I'm gonna be using screws to hold them together. There we go. One five and a half foot long, two foot wide, fence board concrete form. Ta-da! We've run into an issue where our concrete form is just too thick, especially up here close to the house. So we're going to just rip cut it almost in half. That'll give us two forms, one at three inches tall, the other at two and a half inches. And then we'll see which one fits better. At that point, you know, if it's too short, we'll bring it up level and the concrete will fill in below, no problem. But it's either that or we got to re-dig this whole pad down lower and lower to give ourselves a five and a half inch thick pad and that's ludicrous thick. So we're gonna go ahead and rip cut this and continue working on that. Yeah. Good. Ta-da. The two of the world's shortest raised bed gardens. We have our form squared up to the deck. We haven't got it perfectly leveled yet, but it is square to the deck and we don't want to lose that reference point. So, I got my chalk box, chalk line. Sam, what are you going to do with that? Some cat's cradle string work? No. I'm going to open the door and I'm gonna pour myself some of the blue chalk in these corners, dusting the ground and giving us our reference points for the corners of this frame. So then we can then move it, move it around, level it, but still have those corner reference points. Whoop! <laughs> hang on, hang on, you gotta come up for a shot. Oh. 
Here's a recreation. I'm all focused in chalk box land. I do this and I go on through the deck. <laughs> so that's what the whole curly three stooges sound was. You know. <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh, 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 oh. So a little bit of proof in the pudding. We can now pick this up and we still have our corners as long as Sam's big old feet don't go trample around on them. We have everything set, ready to go. Now it is time for mixing time. Mix up some concrete, pour it in a box. Pretty much, so let's go. To reinforce this concrete slab, I picked up some ladder mesh. It's about 10 feet long, six feet wide, and honestly, it looks like a ladder. I even told the boys in the store, said, hey guys, look, it's a ladder. Elijah immediately didn't believe it. Isaac was a little intrigued, but neither one of them really took the bait. What I'm gonna do is just bend this over into half, and I've got two of these, so bend them over, slap them down halfway through the thickness of this slab, and that's gonna be plenty of reinforcement for this thing. Or you lose an eyeball. There we go. One piece of ladder mesh bent in half, throw it in the slab and do the same thing with the other. Wow, pull it off the edge. 
Roughly there. Show me where I need to pull more to. There you have it guys. We have our concrete pad poured and good to go. Yeah. Well guys, we're gonna let it cure overnight. We'll pick it back up tomorrow and maybe get some stickers. Maybe. See ya. Bye. Welcome back to the next day. We are out here. Angela is drilling the pilot holes for the last bit of the balusters. I've got my handy invention for spacing them that I built. That is up there, ready to rock and roll. So she's gonna go ahead and hang those balusters up. I'm gonna go ahead and work on taking the concrete frame up and apart, trying not to bust up the slab or chip any corners. Not that it really matters, but hey, let's try and make it pretty, right? And uh, yeah, we'll start doing some stair work. Put these over here somewhere nice and neat. So for those who haven't seen, this is at another video. That's a little cleat I made. purpose in life is to space the balusters and not fall down. That was a very satisfying sound. I originally bought a bunch of 2x12 8 footers thinking that I would go ahead and just cut and make my own stair stringers. It turned out that our deck height was not as high as I thought it was going to be and it ended up being pretty standard height. So I took those boards back to the store, they are about $39 a piece, and I picked up some pre-cut stair stringers. These little guys. These were $16 a piece. Now given I can get two out of each 8 foot 2x12 still cheaper to buy the pre-made for us because we have a pretty close to standard height. One way to make our height really standard was to buy the stringers and pour our concrete pad exactly where we need to for everything to be just right. So that would be my recommendation for you. If you're building a deck and doing this kind of thing, get close and then build up your landing to match your stringers or make your own. I don't know. This is pretty easy. One thing I did on the front deck stair assembly that is incorrect is I took the stock stringers and then slapped some boards on the top at the back and the bottom 
at the front, if that makes any sense, on the ends of the stringers to make one unit assembly. That's wrong because these are cut to have your specific landing depth, and by adding on an extra board, you throw it off. So to learn from my mistake and make this better, I'm going to be trimming a one and a half inch thickness off the back where it mounts to the deck, and then a one and a half inch thickness off the front down here at the toe kick. That way when I add in these extra boards, they will still end up being the correct depth as far as tread depth or landing pad. I think tread depth is probably the real thing. And it'll be nice and neat and give the proper reveal in the end. I have the top and bottom boards marked and measured out for where the stringers are going to go. I was particular in what board faces showed outwards for the deck, and I was also particular in my measurements. On the front deck, we did our stringer spacing every 12 inches, which is overkill from what is standard. 16 inch on center is standard. Out here, doing 16 inch on standard, mostly because the store did not have all but one of the stringers I needed or they had all but one I was one short so kind of forces Sam to play by the book and not overkill it so that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and attach these all together I'm gonna be using some three and a half inch long structural screws and it'll hold them super tight and right we'll get it assembled and we'll throw it up place it next to the deck throw it up Sam. yeah You guys don't know what's happening on the end of the camera. Angela is literally holding the camera like this. She's got her hip holding her stringer, her arms holding the joist, and help holding this whole thing up while filming. Wonder Woman lives with me. Quit looking. I found her. Wonder Woman! Hardest part's done. We got our frame assembled now. Sam has already gotten all the stringers put up in a frame. We are going to screw on the bottom of the stringers once they're in place. So now he's laying it up against there. I gotta go over with the level, make sure it's all good, and then we will screw it to the deck. Okay, I'll step on it now. <laughs> what? what you... I sweep it and then I step on it with my muddy shoes. It's not muddy. That's roughly my mark here. And I'm on my mark. On your mark. <laughs> right there, and it is perfectly That's what I was no, thinking. No, no, no. Jerry Springer. No. Oh, ho, <laughs> cool. Well, it's plumb because it's resting on the concrete and square cuts and mass. Awesome.
We have our stairs done. They are anchored to the concrete slab. We also have our handrail posts put in place, attached with three four and a half inch construction screws per post. And we have our blocking put in place between the stringers to help stiffen up and fight any kind of lateral or movement forces with those handrail posts. What we're ready to do next is start cutting our stair treads. Our stairs are exactly five feet wide, but I'm gonna cut our deck boards or stair boards to be five foot two inch to give us a one inch reveal or overhang on both sides. Have steps <laughs> feels good they are rock solid we can now get in the front door and out the back door with all steps so it's Without very exciting no risk to limb or life pretty much nice well handrails are next let's knock them out let's go in reality we're going to take about a 20 minute break but you guys will know the difference the sun will change direction ah, whatever sam will look less sweaty A little bit of oscillate. Yee. We love the oscillating tool. Oh, 
to golf. But we got to do some little more oscillating. Hang on, folks. We can't let that... That No, no, no. That is not how we roll. Well, it's not much better. Oh. That's looking better. Are you hot? Yes. Hopefully almost done. Ah ha ha, <laughs> the steps are done, the handrails are done, and it looks awesome. I did choose to make these a little bit different than how we did the front deck stair handrail, and that was the addition of this 2x4 on the top. I'm going to emulate this and do it on the front deck. I like the way this looks, it gives a true handrail, it feels a little more finished, it looks a little more finished, and probably most importantly, it puts that handrail all the way out as far as the front nose of the front step. I don't know if the inspectors are going to be picky enough to care, but I kind of like it being this way, even with the front. It's a little less awkward. You can see the handrail and you know it's the beginning of the steps and they don't sneak up on you. That's my initial thoughts at least. That's the reason I did it back here. I like it, so I'll copy it up front. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's just some two by fours, some pre-cut balusters from the hardware store, and stringers that are pre-cut, deck boards, I don't know. Probably the most difficult part of this project of building the steps is the slab pour. That is something that we chose to do. It is not required. Our county does not say it has to be a concrete slab. They don't really say anything at all, and seeing other new, recently built front decks, they probably don't care, but we wanted to have something substantial that would be nice, firm, and we never have to mess with it again. It was also pretty fun to get a little extra time in doing some concrete work. That's one of the skills that we don't really have much of. I would like to try and hone those a little bit better because we have dreams that someday we could do concrete walkways from decks to driveway and if it's something that we could do ourselves that would save us a ton of money and it would be fun to do and fun to share with you guys so perhaps this kind of got our feet wet in the world of concrete and maybe will give us some confidence to try a sidewalk maybe but no no time in the near future we're going to do gravel for now so don't get your hopes up don't say and wait for a concrete walkway that's not really in the works i guess so there you go totally built you up to let you down
I have to say it's beautimous. You did a really good job. The stairs look great. They are wonderfully sturdy. That is probably my favorite thing about this whole deck build and the stairs or steps. I think it's steps when it's outside and stairs when it's inside. I guess so. Here on our channel, there's no telling, it's both. One of the things I really like is that we can jump around. Jump, jump, we can jump around. <laughs> and the deck doesn't shake, it doesn't wobble. Mm -mm. The stairs are rock solid. I mean, I can stand in a corner and Angela can do, I don't know, some kind of cool kung fu moves and I can't feel it through the deck. And that is huge, that is awesome. It is. So I already told them on camera that I really like the handrails, how I did them back here. They finish it off really nicely. They really do. So I want to do that to the front deck. Mm -hmm. well, we're not gonna make a video on that. Sorry, we're not gonna milk it that much. Just know that the handrails here, we're gonna fix the front deck to look the same way. It gives it a nice polished look, a finished look, and it's more of a handrail rather than what mm -hmm. we had up front. So build two decks, learn from the first, and when you're doing your second, do it better, and then go back and fix the first. That works. Sure. So that is gonna be it for today's video, but stay tuned for the next one because we do have some finishing touches left to do. More? More. More work? No. Uh, my construction job's more done. fun stuff. Okay. <laughs> fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. That's one of the skills that we don't really have much of that I would like to cry. I would like to cry. Well, bleh. So, let's see. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for that. Take it away. You can talk to the camera. I'll start moving this. So stay tuned for that NECA. 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 What? So now you move the camera over because otherwise it's like, oh. see you guys, we left you over here on the sidelines. <laughs> you gotta remember, every project gets sacrificed for a video. But that's true. Yep. Six years of our life, every project we've done, we've sacrificed it for a video. So, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions, leave them below. Blah, okay. blah, blah. I have the focus. I have the conch. <laughs> well, let's go quick. Oh, okay. So let me, okay. okay. All right. no, I got no, it. No, I got no. it. What are, what are you going to say? I got it. Well, I was going to say. start over. Oh, I was too. Oscillating saw. Because you know that's how we roll. And Now this is <laughs> it for. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like they're cracking jokes. Let's play a game. Where is the tool? Dun, 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 dun. It can be in the house or it can be in the Jeep. It is not here at our feet. I did that without messing up. You can lay the <laughs> I'm still watching. Down. Wow, y'all are crooked. Hi, guys. It's listing here a little bit, huh? Okay, what? I wasn't listening. I was talking to myself in the camera. Catch Sam a little early. He might actually be able to talk. We'll see how my vocabulary skills go downhill throughout the day. Oh wait. Okay, no good. <laughs> I thought they were shooting shorties. Three quarter inch. Yeah. That's not gonna hold. Gonna see me? He's gonna see me? Is he gonna see me? Maybe. What I'm going to do is just fin fin this over. I'm gonna fin it in half. Let's go. That's all I needed. Thanks, plane. Thanks a lot. That's close. Everything in the trailer comes out with it, of course. Watch your face. Nunchucks gone 10 foot long. Okay, whatever. What is this called? What is this called? Ladder mesh. Imagine that. It looks like a ladder. Can't be on camera without my hat. I gotta look somewhat presentable. Like they didn't just see me sweating it out working all day. True. <laughs> uh, let's pretend. Welcome to the land of make-believe. No, I hear. Sorry.